Welcome back to my channel and let's learn today addition and subtraction of fractions. Do you know the addition and fraction is totally different than the addition of whole numbers or integers or natural numbers because it has two parts numerator and denominator as you know. So how to add the fractions and let us start today how to add like or unlike fractions in this class. To get the concept of addition and subtraction let's take the example here let us take one chocolate bar and divide it into two equal parts as we know that when we are dividing the total chocolate bar into two equal halves each part is one half now what is the sum when we are taking the sum of these two halves we are getting one whole and that's equal to two upon two here two upon two that means the total chocolate bar is divided into two parts. So 2 is the denominator. And each time we are taking 1, 1. So 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2. Here the numerator and denominator both are equal. That is where the sum is 1. Let us take another example. Here the total chocolate bar is split into 3 equal parts. When we are splitting the total chocolate bar into three equal parts each part is one third and when we are finding the sum the denominator is same three because the total chocolate bar is divided into three parts and the sum is three so three upon three that's equal to one whole just like that when we are adding each part of six equal parts we are getting the same answer one whole because here the total chocolate bar is divided into six equal parts and one six equal parts that means denominator is six and each time we are taking one one as the numerator so total sum of the numerator is six that's why six upon six that's equal to one whole let us take another example here one third is added to another one third. Now what is the sum? The total chocolate bar is splitted into three parts, divided into three parts. So the denominator is three. Now what is the fraction of this total chocolate bar here? Two out of three parts, we are taking two parts. That's why two third is the sum. All about like fractions when we are adding like fractions we are keeping the same denominator and just add the numerators now addition of all like fractions as you know that all like fraction means the denominators are different it's the one fourth of the chocolate bar and this one fourth is added to one half of the chocolate bar then what we are getting the sum now how much part the total part is out of this whole chocolate bar? This is the total part. Now, this is what fraction of the total chocolate bar? Now, both the denominators are different. So, what should be the denominator of the sum? Let us take equal parts. The total chocolate is divided into equal parts so that we can take both the 4 and 2 as the denominator. So what should be the denominator here? We have to choose one value which can be represented as 4 also and 2 also. That's why we are taking the LCM of the denominators and the LCM of 4 and 2 is 4. Here we can convert half into 2 fourth because half and two fourth are equivalent fractions and now two fourth is added to one fourth and we are getting the sum easily that's equal to three fourth so the sum of the two fractions is one fourth now addition of all like fractions let us take one example here 3 and 4 are the denominators and 
we have to take the LCM of 3 and 4 that's equal to 12 and convert each fraction respectively into their equivalent fraction and also the like fractions of each other. Now what should be the sum? After converting the like fractions just keep the same denominator and add the numerators. Now subtraction of fractions. Just similar to addition of fractions we have to subtract by keeping the same denominator and just subtract the numerators. Let us take one example. When 1 minus 1 eighth, one whole, this is one whole. And when we are subtracting 1 whole minus 1 eighth, one whole we can represent as 8 part of 8. That's equal to 8 upon 8 minus 1 eight. That's equal to 8 upon 8 minus 1 eighth. Keeping the same denominator and subtracting the numerators. Now we are getting 7 out of 8. That's equal to 7 by 8. These are basic of addition and subtraction of fractions. When you are learning the basic of addition and subtraction of fractions, you can solve any problems on this addition and subtraction. Hope everyone understood. Enjoyed learning? Thank you.